Hello, yay, how are you? Yes, my nail varnish is it's, uh, very much chipped since doing the uh, whatnot show the other day. Oh, well, never mind. Have I mentioned that I did a whatnot show? I did a whatnot show and it was good fun. But I did promise that I would save a bag just for you guys. Now, when I first looked at this bag, I was like, oh, there's just like, um, you know, plastic beads and a bit of Primark and stuff. And then I saw, unfortunately broken, there's a cool looking thing there. But there's also little things in packets. And things in packets can be a good sign. So, we're going to open and take a look. I do have, oh, I don't have a thingy bag, but I've got my <coughs> broken jewellery bag next to me. And obviously I can sort as we go along. Like they're broken. So that's going to go straight in there. Oh! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> right, I think that's probably brass. But I think that that's a bullseye something. Bullseye agate. Bullseye something. Charm. That's. I'm sure that's that. That's cool. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't know for sure. I've seen one on a pin and I've seen an earring like it before, but that's cool. That's got to be old. I don't think that. I think that's probably brass on there. Oh, that's cool. And a baggy. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm chuffed with that already. Already, already happy with this bag. No matter what. No matter what. Um, right. A detanglement. Which is obviously French for a bloody mess. And that's all caught around there and it's broken. Marvellous. So we go straight in there. That's okay. What was that anyway? That was looking a bit bonkers. Well, that's kind of fun. Broken there. Oh, well, there we go. Someone can do something with those other unbroken bits. So, never mind. Oh, I am. I'm sure it's like yeah, bullseye something, something like that. Right, we did have some odd earrings from the bag the other day, so you never know. We might be able to pierce them up. I don't think that was one of them. Got this iridescenty one, tangled up in itself, but it looks like it's got all of its innards. So that will go into a two kilo lot, which I'm just putting aside for now. Are you anything? That might be silver. Hmm, maybe not. The crystals are kind of poking up a little bit. Uh, I'll keep it aside to test, just in case. That's a fancy earring. Which I'll put the earrings down here. And also, we didn't get the blooming nowl either. It's typical, isn't it? There's always a nowl and then there wasn't. Uh, oh, that's... um. Like a converter thing. Is that magnetic or is it? Oh, that's a screw. Uh, and also a magnet. Ah, that's cool. So if you want a little bit of extra strength on your necklace. Um, that's just a bit of chain. And that's a handbag charm. So I'll probably put that into a keyring slot. <laughs> Obviously, a, a sparkly red moustache, that's definitely what you want, but again, it's well tangled, so we'll have to get some more of these bits out first. Let's see what's going on here. And yes, I have planned um, a second watch, what not show, um, seven days after the very first. I'm not going to do one every weekend, though. I'm thinking every fortnight, that's broken. Um, every fortnight will do. I don't want to overkill. I don't want to do, like... Um, you know, sell myself short, as it were. I don't want to undersell myself. I don't want to make people sick of me. That's not silver or anything. Um, I'm not sure if this is a multi-strand in there doing some evil stuff. Right, that's that one. Okay. That snake one is this long heart one. Okay. And the moustache. Do you know what? 
they can all stay together anyway because they're going in a two kilo job lot and that's fine <laughs> um yeah i don't want to i don't want to overkill things i'm just gonna do what i fancy doing but i think this sunday i'm gonna do something a bit silly so join in if you can um it will be fun they're gonna go in kids lots this does actually look, yeah, that is a sterling silver clasp on there by the looks of it. And they're probably sterling silver beads. They are real pearls. So real pearl and sterling silver beads. That's quite nice, that. Very pretty. Need a little bit of a shine up on these, like, what look like diamond cut silver. I wonder if that's like a replacement, um, like clasp on that one because that looks very vintagey doesn't it i like that i shall keep that aside and i will test the little bits on there the beads that's not silver that might be a cute heart i'll keep that aside to test i reckon that's probably silver a little bit of chain Sure, I've had this necklace before. I'm sure I didn't know who it was by. <laughs> and again, it is tangled. See, that's an unusual clasp there. Looks handmade. And then we've got this Irish punt. Were they punts back in the day? Right. I'll undo you. I think that might be a nice chain, the one I've got hold of there. Let's see if I can get it out. Because it might be a thing. Certainly the clasp look like looks like it might be a gold clasp, but I'm not sure about the chain. But of course, like even if it's tarnished like gold can tarnish because obviously there is especially in nine carat gold um there is obviously a percentage of other metals in there that may tarnish so that's why gold nine carat gold is like slightly see, brownier color right there you go so i don't know who does that it's an odd one, isn't it if anybody knows the maker very strange but there we go. <laughs> right, so we have got this 1961 coin, but we want to look at that. So where's my loop de loop? I think it says there's rolled gold. I think it says 12, mm, maybe. One of, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a rolled gold, but I will keep it aside and test that. I won't test the coin because I know that that won't be gold. <clears throat> Tassel earrings, they get everywhere. I've seen those a few times. They might be like a um, high street thing. A faux lynx of London. And a stretch. I'm not probably putting them in. Uh, we've got a vintage plastic necklace. I'll put that into vintage lot. That's a lovely sparkly one, isn't it? Marks and Spencer's lovely sparkly earring. That looks like a pear there. Little star. Ah, that's um, a figure. I wonder what that's carved up, like what kind of wood. That's unusual. Might be worth testing the end there as well, although perhaps I can see a little bit of copper coming through. But, hmm, that's cool. If not, I can put it into, um, like a, a little charm slot or something. That's uh, one of those keeps your glasses on. I've got a little job lot of them on the go as well. That looks like it's silver. So let's hope that it's brought a friend. Possibly, maybe, possibly, maybe, maybe not. That's kind of cool. Probably, though. possibly. 
That looks like it might be silver with a tiny little pearl in it. A little dangly. Oh, we've got an elephant. This is plastic, so don't worry, it's not ivory or anything. It is all plastic. With all these little plastic rose beads as well. Probably put that into a vintage card. A couple of little hearts. These are quite nice. Aren't they cool? There's possibly glass in there. No marks or anything, not that I can see. They look like they might be silver. Some artisan thing. That's cool. I'll keep them aside and test them. And then nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's swanky, isn't it? Silver plated, probably. I mean, it's not going to be silver, but possibly silver plated. And these would be glass, but rather handsome. Lovely colour. That is probably something that I would sell though, so I will keep that aside. And there is a match to that earring. Would I sell these? Yeah, probably not. Not separately. And they repair. I dropped one back in there, didn't I? Oh. Right, I've got a multi strand. It's got all kind of bits in it. Faux pearls, wood. These, um, maybe bits of coral. That's going to two kilos. And this one's got a bit of a, an accessorized kind of look to it, although I don't think I can see. Is it? No, it's just a one long continuous one, which I suppose you could also wear like that, couldn't you? That's going in two kilos. Got a pin for pin slot. Ah! Oh no, there's a square. Oh look, so we've got <laughs> sort of matching but not. Okay, but then we have got a little match for the hearts, which is cool. So we are definitely hoping that these are silver. These little dangly hearts. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I need to move a little bit. Yep. And we've got another pin there. Got 2021 20, and 22. This looks like a bit of stainless steel, perhaps. Some kind of, I don't know, gothic-y thing. It's got these unusual sort of crosses. And this bell um, bar chain, that's probably gonna say, oh no, it is definitely stainless steel then, it says it on there. Unusual, that's kind of cool. I might put that um, into my silver tone. No, I'll just put it in two kilos. Because, right, what's this? It says... Smile! <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and that's an A. With a little dot on the back. I don't know that brand. If anybody knows that one, I'll put that into gold tone pendant lot again if anybody wants it separately though uh that's a little earring can i see a kh on there yep kit heath kh 1992 kh 92 so i've got an odd kit heath earring a little lucite plastic leaf and um a triangle lovely Right, I saw this one was signed as well. Who is it signed? <clears throat> I can't see. Um, Isabel Morant. Have I had something by that person before? I might have. And then I can't remember whether I listed it separately or put her in a lot. So I will keep that aside and I'll look that up later. A string of faux pearls with a clasp missing. That'll go into a faux pearl lot. Some more plastic beaded, but that's broken as well. Yeah, well up there. Another little silver earring. This one's got mother of pearl, and there's its little friend there. So there we go. We've got a nice little pair of mother of pearl studs. Lovely stuff. 
Here we do like littles. That's some um, little beads. Anything here? That looks like it's silver. Let me check. Um, CW something. I'm pretty sure that's going to be silver. Yep, yeah, 925 written on the stamp, on the post. There we go, another silver bit. That looks like a silver back. That's a piercing stud. And then these are just silver colored one. That looks like it's silver as well, with a little pearl and a little crystal, and a little faux pearl. And then these can all go into broken. And then we've got a pair of little faux pills and a little bangle for two kilo lot. Right. So we've got some shells that I will also put into broken. And then look, see what I mean by these little packets, packets of things. Maybe I'll keep the packets for last. It's like a little surprise for us. <laughs> um, some Primark, little... That's quite cute, moon and stars. I'll go into two kilos. Some awful tassely thing I'm just gonna put in broken. Little infinity symbol. Going in two kilos. <laughs> Aww, cute little reindeer earring. I like him. Right, it's got a pair of those. Those are vintage. I remember working with uh, some of those on a piece of jewellery years and years ago. A little stretch. Are you silver? No, I don't think so. A little sparkly heart. That looks like it should be silver, but it's not. Um, I'm going to test that because I don't kind of believe it really. I'll keep that aside and I'll test that. I've got little bits is there. Ooh, that's a chunk of amber. Bloody hell. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> bloody, bloody hell. <laughs> wow. Would you look at that? That's proper raw amber. I wonder what, is that just on a brass chain? Yeah, was a... Oh, yeah. That's definitely amber. Whoa. So it's a little bit see-through there and then like proper egg yolky there and then that's really raw edge there. That's cool. That's probably something I'd auction off because amber can be weird. You'd think like, oh, that's worth, you know, nothing and then it's worth loads and then it's worth loads and then, you know, like jade, you just, I don't know. So I'm gonna keep that on the side. Um, we have a kiddie's necklace, I'm obviously going to put that in. Kids lot, and then a ah, little cutesy faux pearl one, going to two kilos. Oh, they look like they might have been gold then. I don't think they are. They're not. They're cute little shells though. I might sell them anyway because they're quite nice. Probably gold plated rather than gold tone. So yeah, I'll keep them aside and sell them. That's not gold, that is gonna be a gold plated stainless steel because it's far too shiny. Um, What's that tag say? RM or something? BM? BM, does anyone know? And what initial? That looks like a C, doesn't it, or an E? Anyways, that's probably going to end up in a pendant slot anyway. That's a cool earring. Very kind of Etruscan looking. With the knobbly bobbly bits. Quite like that. I hope there's another one. That's the broken crystally bit. Got some more European charms. That one. Oh, it's by the charm company, but unfortunately broken. But I'll put it into the European charm slot anyway. That is um, a bit of shell, unusual. Um, beaded, it says magic. 
Okay, as in Magic the Gathering. We were in um, a pub the other day and the, um, the local Magic the Gathering group were in there um, having a little social, bless them. Wonder if it was a swingers party. Um, oh, cute little glass stud earrings. They're going in two kilos. What are you? You look like silver. You look like a broken bit of silver. Oh no. Oh no, I suppose that's a pendant with these bits hanging down. Kind of cute, weird flower thing. Can't see any marks, but I'll keep it aside to test. I reckon that is going to be silver though. And then we got a multi strand by the looks of it by FH. FH. Don't know. Nice senorita clasp. Um, it's not silver though. Uh, but they are real pearls. Unusual. I might see if I can find out who FH is. Obviously, hit me up if you know. Don't just hit me, that would be rude. Oh, a little glass heart. These are nice. These like crystally ones. Um, is that all one bit? Oh yes, yeah, so you can wear it really long if you wanted. That's cool. Quite pretty. Keep that aside. A sparkly earring. What are you? You're a very delicate chain that looks pretty mangled. So we'll probably be scrapped, whatever you are, unless, I don't know, it is pretty, pretty mangled. This might be gold. Um, oh no, silver, 925. But it'll probably go into scrap. It's, um, it's very delicate and it's been very kind of chewed up. So that'll probably be just, it's probably not even a gram. So that's about 25 pence worth of silver there. But that's a shame. Ooh. That is a beautiful bit of green turquoise. Look at that. Chunk taken out of it. But you know, I mean, that's what happens with a... With stone with matrixes, that's lovely. That's probably a bit of coral. This might be, um, where am I thinking? Like Ethiopian or something? I'll test that as well. That might be a low grade silver. But that is a gorgeous bit of stone, isn't it? That's a beaut. Put that aside, I like that. Um, this, I think, is a coral. I've had necklaces like this before. Um, I'll probably sell it as part of, eh, no, I'll sell it separately. I won't sell it as a lot, in a lot, because it's kind of wasted. It'll get missed. Little Disney charm, I'll put that in kids' lot. Oh, there's the pair to that little flower earring, which is nice. Awesome. Little chain and a stretch. This, um... It's very tarnished anyway, so it kind of doesn't matter what it is. I thought it might have been a belt, but no, it is a necklace, but it's, uh, it's quite tarnished. That's an earring. Yeah, nice little beaded chain, just silver tone, going in two kilos. Ah, I love these. Little Chinese etched fans. From like the 1950s or 60s I think. Got little pictures on them. That's beautiful isn't it? Lovely. I'm gonna keep that aside anyway because even if it doesn't have a friend it'll still be nice for someone. Someone will still appreciate it. Right. Oh, I can use that. going to go through all of this little bit that's left. So well, that's just a pair of stuff. I'm going to keep them in the bag and put them in two kilo lot. These look like little Celtic not silver ones and indeed they are awesome. 
Do we have any maker? Um, C, I think, for Keric, isn't it? Unless it says Ash or something in it, I don't know. They're pretty. Awesome score on that one. That's nice. Some little flame shaped vintage ones that also have something written there. Nab. Don't know that one. They'll probably end up in a vintage lot anyway, so I'll put them over there. What are you? Oh, yeah, that's that bangle that unfortunately it's missing some bits. Um, it's an alpaca Mexico, uh, so it's not silver. I'm going to put that into a broken vintage lot. It's a real shame, isn't it? That would have been lovely. Some bits of string I'm just going to put in the bin. That's right, nice, isn't it? Clamper with his cloisonne enamel. That's cool, that's something I'd sell. Aww. It's got all of its stones in there, little choker necklace. What are you? I don't know, but it's got a screw. Weird. Oh well, it's going in a broken bit. A little pendant necklace. Quite cute. Put that in two kilos. Nice little long glass necklace. That looks like it might be a silver, possibly. Uh, these are crystals actually, aren't they? I'm gonna test that clasp. It might be silver clasp, possibly. Let's get these things out of the way. Some stretchies. Put all the stretchies in the bag together. Some more vintage enamel earrings. Keep the baggies. Ah, yes, awesome. So we've got a pair of these nice screw back Etruscan ones. They're very cool. I like those. I'm put them straight into the baggie. I like them. I'm sure I've got that one somewhere. So I might have a pair of those. That looks like a pair of very pretty sparklies, actually. They're very nice. Are they going to be silver? Probably. Yeah, I think that says 925 on there, on the post. Lovely and sparkly. Very nice. Put them together. Lovely stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that cuteness. Oh, little pansies, little dried pansies. That is so cute. One of my granddad's favourite flowers was pansies. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Super lovely. Oh, and there's the other one of those. So that's cool. So we've got that. Lovely pair of earrings there as well. These are like vintage enamel faux pearl ones. Very power dressing you, aren't they? That's cool. Um, are you going to be silver? Come on. Oh God, that hasn't been taken off in ages. Hmm, hard to tell. I don't think so though. I don't think so. I'm in vintage. A little dragonfly. It's um, just a little charm. Put that in broken. No, Andrea said that she wanted a dragonfly, but like a proper one. That was a bit small. That's quite a nice silver tone chain necklace with toggle clasp. I put that in two kilos. Um. Might be a little bit of coral or something there, possibly. Cute little butterfly. Um, uh, Fury. I'll put that into a pendant slot. Tiny little ring. 
doubt if it's gold. It's probably stainless steel. I'll keep it aside and test it just in case. Little enamel heart. Put that in pendant slot. That, again, that might be a low grade silver with coral in it. That's a fab earring. Keep that aside to test. That's another one of those. A little candy cane earring. And a little charm. This one, uh, oh, another charm company one. And what are you? That looks like it might be a silver one as well. Hmm. Hmm. I'll probably end up putting them in a European charm lot though, unless they end up being Pandora, obviously. That one's got broken bits in it anyway. Um, that's a bit of monkey silver. And I think that's its monkey pear. <laughs> Lots of lovely ear gunk in it. Mmm, tasty. I think that's not silver. By tasty, obviously, I am not going to be tasting them. That would be ridiculous. <sighs> I know, explaining the obvious. That's um, a little bit of silver. Well, no, maybe not that, but the back is. So I'll keep the back because they're always handy. That's not. Another little charm. Another little charm. There's the pair to that heart one. So I'll put them in two kilos. That looks like silver. Yes, it is. Mark silver. That is not. Oh, we've got lots of little backs here. A little heart. Which I will test for gold. Although it's probably stainless steel. That one looks like it might be gold. In fact, I think I can see a mark just there. Um, yep, I'm pretty sure that says 14 carat, actually. So we've got a little 14 carat bit of gold there. That's cool. And then what about these? That's not gold. I reckon that one is. Yeah, pretty sure that one is a bit of gold. Pretty sure that one is as well. Yeah, I think that says nine carat on there. And I think that's a silver one. And then that's another bit of monkey silver. That's okay. Right. Move these aside and have a look at what's in all of these baggies. Ta-da! Go. Right. They fell with a good funk, didn't they? I wonder, I mean, that back has been glued on. Unusual. Might be silver. I'll keep them aside to test. I will not be testing on here, just in case uh, I drop any on there. So I'm going to... Put them aside, put them on my testing pile. Put these aside. These look like silver too. Oh yeah, these definitely are silver. They are dusty as well. They are manky and they are dusty. I will give them a proper, proper clear up. But that pattern, very atomic looking, isn't it? They're cool. Put them aside. Are these going to be silver? Oh, that's a proper thunk. Oh, right. These are actually <laughs> marked as well. 925 and a something I can't read. But at least they are actually stamped. Again, nice vintage silver earrings. A random little flowery one. I don't think it's silver. These are nice. Little plastic ones. But they're cute. They're like little buttons. They can go in a vintage lot. And we've got these ones here. These are these feel like clay, maybe? A ceramic? Yep. I'm gonna put them in two kilos. A little brush. A little heart brooch, but that'll go into a brooch's lot. Um, some mother of pearl flowers. That'll go into two kilos. They look silver, don't they? 
These are just a lightweight plastic. They'll go into vintage. And these I'm hoping are silver. They might not be. Again, they might be just stuck on things. Very lightweight. Feel more like plastic, actually. They'll go into a vintage lot too. Right. So I'm going to move this out of the way so I can do me testing, not on the board. Okay. Ta -da 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 -da. Right, so what were we testing? Let's test that for gold, wasn't it? And that bit for gold. We'll get them out of the way because I don't actually think they're going to end up being gold. I'm going to come in closer and have a look. Go on then. How's that? Nope, that is a stainless steel, I reckon. Maybe a gold on silver, but I don't think so. And then, like I said, we're not going to do the chain. We're just going to do, I mean, the pendant. We're just going to do the chain bit. I'm not even going to bother putting the nine carat on that one, only on that one. Five, four, three, two, one, it's gone. So that is indeed a rolled gold chain. I will probably end up putting that into the vintage lot. And then that one I'm going to test for silver, which it is not, because it is not going red. So that I'll put into a rings lot. Here we go. Okay, what else were we going to test? Um, this little clasp. Sometimes, a lot of the time, you just need a scratch and that's enough to tell you that that is not silver. So that'll go in there. You don't need to test those earrings, not those earrings. There were some unmarked bits, wasn't there, that we were going to test. These ones. And that one. Uh, I believe that that is silver. The hook says it's silver as well. And that one. Shame that odd. Oh yeah, that weird flower thing, wasn't it? The weird flower, this one for low grade silver, got the two little hearts, um, and the beads on this one, and that. Oh, we were going to test that for gold as well, weren't we? I don't think it is. No, that's stainless steel. But that's okay. Oh, and the figure. No, nope, but it doesn't matter because that is still a cool little charm that I would probably sell on its own anyway. Right, so let's do some scratches. I reckon this will be a yes, definitely a yes. And I think this one will be. Yes. And I think these little hearts will be. See how they just have really nice, easy scratches. go and then this is the last of the earrings i'll do the necklaces i don't think these are going to be i think these are low grade ones so a lesser grade silver so we're looking for bright red so red 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 muddy so Yes, 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 yes. All silver, although I'd probably say that that, um, again, is probably not a 9 to 5 silver, but it still has a silver content, which is cool. So they were all lovely bits of silver. And then we're going to test this clasp. Mm. Nope, I don't think so. So that is going to go in two kilos. We're going to test these beads that's looking probable and this chain which probably is a low grade okay so the beads on here definitely are silver so that's cool but this is not testing the silver but again it doesn't matter because of the beautiful bit of turquoise so I think we have definitely done okay on this bag that was especially for you. <laughs> oh no, don't fall over things. 
Right, so that is beautiful. That's nice. I do like these heart earrings. I think they are cool. We have lots of nice pairs of earrings, like actual pairs, which is always groovy. Like, that's awesome. And then the little heart. Um, and yes, some odd earrings and some odd scrap gold, some little flowers and some more odd earrings. And then some lovely bracelets, some things to look at. The awesome Etruscan, um, these beautiful things. My granddad's lovely pansies. Um, and then my favorite thing. Oh, and a freaking massive bit of amber. Yowza. But this has got to be my favorite thing. Um, I think it's brilliant. And um, yeah, I am chuffed to bits, actually. So if there's been anything here you fancy except that, because <laughs> you know me, please do let me know. Um, my email address, as always, is in the description box underneath here. And um, yeah, give me a message. Um, and also watch my next, um, or join us for the next Whatnot show, 2pm this coming Sunday. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.